hi many of us have these uh, photograph parts on our sites so I'm, I'm going to go through how to modify pictures before you put them onto the website and also how to upload photographs and how to delete photographs down afterwards so the first thing to say is that when you have photographs um, that you want to use on your site you have to modify them for um, use on a website photographs now can be taken with cameras that have very high pixel rates and um, what that means is that um, the quality is so large that when we upload them onto our site they can be very slow in coming down onto the page and um, they can also take up a huge amount of space and take up the page so in order to show the photograph correctly you have to modify it so in this case I have stored my photographs in my pictures you can use Google Images to access photographs. You can use digital cameras and, and take them from your memory stick. But in this case, I have already taken some photographs and I have put them into my photographs, which I am going to modify. So the first thing is I need to use a picture manager tool to make my photographs um, acceptable for a website. So the one I find is very handy to use is actually located in Microsoft Office. So if you go to Start, click on all programs go up to Microsoft Office now you'll see Microsoft Office tools which is located above our Word and our PowerPoints that we normally click on go across Microsoft Office tools and you're looking for Microsoft Office picture manager so you just select that there now and the manager will open up and what you have to do is you have to browse for where the photographs you have saved are. Now in this case I'm working in Beaufort so I have saved them in my Beaufort folder but you would just go off there and browse where you have them if you had them in your in your my pictures or if you had them on a dash stick you would find it here. So here's my Beaufort file and I'm going to bring through these two photographs. So the first thing I need to do with them is I need to export them suitable for a website. So I'm going to select two at once. You can work with one at a time if you wish by holding down the control key and left clicking you can see both of these are lit up in grey so I'm working with both of them at once and what you're looking for is the last message here on the right hand side which says export pictures you simply left click that this opens up and again just ignore all this and come down to the very bottom here export using this size open that drop down menu and um, speaking to Brian, he says the most suitable are web large, web small, our email. Now they're very small pixel rates and they will really reduce your quality. So I would say pick web large. It's still 640 by 480 pixels. So you simply select that and select OK. And it will ask you, it'll say this file already exists. Do you want to replace them? Replace them, replace them. OK, so they've simply replaced both of those with um, photographs where the pixel sizes are smaller. The other thing with photographs which you can do, just deselect those by left clicking, um, you can actually in this section edit them. So if you wanted to crop down a photograph, here is where you can do it. So if you simply select edit with this photograph here, you can crop it. You can auto correct it where it might be quite a dark photograph. If you simply select auto collect correct it, it will correct it for you. Um, if you select crop, you can see here you can actually crop your photograph down okay using your green backwards arrow brings you back to here and if you have taken them at a 90 degree angle you can rotate them and flip them okay so there I have rotated that so I have made changes to that you can see there's a star here telling me I have made changes once you're happy with your photograph you simply select save okay green the star has gone this one I don't need to work with at all. So I simply close down my office manager now. I've worked with my photographs. So if you have two photographs to upload, work with them first. If you have 20 to do, work with them here. And once you're happy with them, close down your picture manager and you come back to your site. So now I'm going to upload those two photographs here into this rotating image part. You click on the word photos. Okay, so the gallery here opens up. To upload photographs into here, you'll see the word upload. Click on the little triangle to the right hand side of upload. And I'm going to choose upload mul multiple pictures because I'm going to bring through two. Just wait for a second. It'll ask you to sign in. 
give it a second and the picture manager will open okay so in this case I was in Beaufort and I'm looking for the two photographs I want to bring through so it was this one and this one so here's my left click control left click again we'll, d we'll select the two of them and here I have remind me here send pictures optimized for viewing in the web you just make sure that's clicked there and then upload and close okay so I'm bringing through two photographs so it's going to take a second to come through obviously if you're bringing more in it'll take um, slightly longer or you can bring one at a time okay so that basically is it and you're saying well where are the photographs you can either click here to go back to photos or use the breadcrumb here go back to photos so if I click on photos here brings you to your gallery and when you scroll down you'll see they're listed there okay now I have noticed that in this gallery it actually um, shows your photographs um, alphabetically so mine were saved as multi one and multi two so when you are renaming your photographs um, it will actually help if you want to display them up the top just rename them um, including the letter A for you know even A multi one um, will bring it cl closer up to the top okay so um, that brings it in to see that working you just click on multicultural page and it will scroll through and it will come through in a moment so if I just go back into my photo section here okay I can click on a photograph at any time so in this case I'm going to click on the multi multi one I can edit that item okay so there's my name multi one if I want that to appear higher I can edit it okay so if I put in the letter A and select OK you can see it's moved up here okay numbers come first and then letters so I have moved that one up okay if I want to delete a photograph it's really easy to do I just simply click here select the ones I wish to delete and I go here to actions to the right and I select delete and are you sure you want to delete it and um, you select OK and it goes now in this case I don't want to delete it so I'm going to cancel it but all you do would select OK and it would delete so I'm going to cancel that there take out my tick go back to my page and you'll see them scrolling through there in a moment and that's basically how to edit photographs how to work with them um, how to make sure that they are um, at the correct size which will show and will come on quickly as I said if you didn't work with them first as they're coming through here they're very slow to come down the page that's it